The Gratitude Meditation Exercise The Gratitude Meditation Exercise is one of the tools that positively change our energy. This exercise is beneficial to do every day and also at times when we feel overwhelmed, are out of sorts, noticing we are complaining or feel burdened by our situation. Doing the gratitude meditation exercise does not mean there is complacency or lack of insight to areas of growth or change. And doing the gratitude meditation exercise means we are cultivating the energy of opening our hearts and beings to what we recognize around us. Because the gratitude meditation exercise is intended to be done often and has different levels, there may be parts that challenge us. The way the gratitude meditation exercise may challenge us is beneficial, as you will see. The following gratitude meditation exercise has eight different areas to identify gratitude. These areas will develop and change as you continue to use this exercise. And it is possible to hold feelings of gratitude and unresolved feelings and other feelings. This is important to know because we can hold many different feelings or awareness about a part of our life at the same time. The gratitude meditation exercise is designed for people to do by themselves and in groups. When a person does the gratitude meditation exercise by themselves, it can be written down or spoken out loud. The value of writing down the gratitude meditation exercise gives us the opportunity to see patterns and to notice when things change. Some suggested times to reap the most benefit for the gratitude meditation exercise are at the end of each day or at the beginning of it each day. Other times of the year are while on a holiday like a birthday, on each full moon or new moon, the change of the seasons like the equinoxes and solstices, or the new year or any other time you feel inclined to practice the gratitude meditation exercise. The group experience can include around a fire circle at Thanksgiving, in a group where people are dedicated to changing awareness by candlelight at the dinner table with children, teens, or adults. When doing the exercise in a group, I have each person say first only one item as they go around the circle to share their gratitude until they go to the next level. If you discover you are challenged by one area, then that is the area to practice and to also put more notice to. As you do the gratitude meditation exercise, you may want to close your eyes and get in touch with the part of your body associated with the heart. The heart area includes the shoulders and back, including your scapula, also known as shoulder blades, your spine, on the anterior side of your body, the diaphragm, ribs across the top of your chest, and even into your neck and throat. As you do the practice, take a deep breath in and tune into this area. Exhale and relax, and take another breath in and exhale. And on the third breath, allow yourself to connect with your heart region and feel it expand and relax. Why is this exercise beneficial? It helps us release burdens because we know burdens and emotions and our thoughts can lodge in our physical body. And practicing the exercise helps us open to new possibilities. When we do an exercise, we strengthen the content associated with that practice, and it also becomes more familiar, easier to do, and something that we can access quickly. In this gratitude meditation exercise, there are eight areas. These specific eight areas of gratitude connect us to the positive energy that builds within us. Even though we may not be completely grateful for something does not mean there is not an evolution of awareness that is shifting inside of us. This means that we are learning and growing. 
what we are grateful for today may blossom into something we could not have imagined in another month or year or five years. And the gratitude meditation exercise practice helps us get there. Here are the eight areas in the gratitude meditation exercise. I will explain each of the areas in detail. You can hear all the eight areas at the end of this explanation, and there is a special gratitude meditation exercise for you to use and where you participate. The first area is, how are you grateful for a person in history? Find one person from history to feel grateful for how they have inspired you to act or consider in new ways. This is a person who has inspired you. Number two, how are you grateful for a person you know or have known? Find one or more people you have known or know now. You can have known the person for only a moment as when someone gives us an act of kindness that touches us deeply or a person you have known your entire life or somewhere in between. The idea is to connect to the feeling you have that reminds you of your gratitude about this person or relationship. Number three, how are you grateful for the universe and earth? This is noticing the elements of our universe, which include the Milky Way galaxy, the stars, sky, microbes, atmospheres, moons, meteorites, asteroids, chemicals and gases, solar systems, and suns. Number four is how are you grateful for animals, plants, reptiles, birds, and creatures? These creatures can be wild or domesticated, extinct or living. These creatures can also be animals who have shared our lives with us and animals we have met at some time in our life or seen or not seen in person. Because these creatures are part of our world in different ways, it also helps us to acknowledge and appreciate their role on Earth. Number five, how are you grateful for yourself? If you remember before I mentioned there were a couple of gratitudes that might challenge us. Often this is one of the hardest ones to do because we are not used to feeling gratitude towards ourselves. It's very beneficial for us to begin the process of having gratitude for ourselves because it changes the energy towards ourselves and makes us more receptive to acknowledge and practice the actions of gratitude as they progress. And this helps us shift out of negative concepts and negative self-thoughts. Number six, how are you grateful for a positive experience from a long time ago or recently? This can be something you worked hard to achieve, something you made it through a moment in time or a time with other people or alone. Number seven, how are you grateful for a challenge you have experienced? This item can be one of the more difficult ones because we are not trained to consider how challenges have contributed to lessons or learnings we have gained. When we learn as much as we can from our experiences and continue that learning, we are growing. On deeper levels, this can help us take back any power that might have been lost at that time if it was that kind of challenge or lesson. And we can continue to learn from that same challenge even months or years later because we gain another layer of insight or insights. Number eight, how are you grateful for a challenge you are experiencing now? Again, this helps us to flip our programming about the experiences we have and understand as we gain insight about difficulties, we grow and have empowerment and they no longer bind us. All of the exercises in the gratitude meditation exercise are designed to help expand our awareness and connect to that sense of appreciation as a positive act of changing our energy. 
You can repeat the answers to the gratitude meditation exercise if they feel valid for you. However, use the gratitude exercise to inspire you to notice new elements and experiences to be grateful for as we build the appreciation and gratitude within us. So allow what comes to you. Thanks for listening from Transformational Wisdom and Dr. Susan Sophia James at TWI.Education.